Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thank you for watching and welcome to my house. That's Justin's house. It's time for another ServiceNow Store Highlights episode or SSH version 0602 2023 or for my international friends, you might prefer the date format 2023-0602. Um, but in this episode, there are 29 applications that are new or were updated in the ServiceNow store since our last episode. That includes six new releases, seven highlights that I want to share with you in this episode. There's five compatibility updates, four minor updates, three hole fixes, and three release notes fails. We'll jump right into those release notes fails and knock those out of the way. So these got updated, but I can't tell you what changed. And so just bringing these to your attention, now assist for search, Office Templator and Sepio Cyber all got updated, but the release notes were either empty or they were a repeat of the last release notes. So for our purposes, that's a release notes fail, and I know I don't know what to tell you what happened, what changed. So go take a look at them if you want to. Um, download them, test them, I don't know. We'll take a look at the next one here, fixes. There were three of them, Global Link Connect, Process X, and Vulnerability Response Integration with Qualys all had some minor fixes, not worth taking up time in the episode to cover. Same here with, oh, I don't have it. I still didn't do it. Um, let's go back to none and take a look at those minor updates. We'll just show matching there. There were four of those, Chronicle ITSM, Recorded Future for Security Incident Response and Security Operations Foundation, and Wonder by Intellective all had updates, but they were really just minor things um, that weren't, again, big enough to highlight in an episode like this. Last one there that should be quick is the compatibilities. These were upgraded to be compatible with Utah. So you can see there we got Care AR for ITSM, IBM Security Verify Service Desk, International Mobile Service Automation, OnSolve IT Alert, and Visit Us all had compatibility updates. And that brings us to the new releases. What was new in the ServiceNow store since our last episode? First and foremost, Cloud Services Catalog, Request and Manage Cloud Services through Govern Automation Workflows. Key features here, Enhanced Request Portal for ordering cloud catalog items using Employee Center. My Stacks View in Employee Center for managing the deployed stacks. Resources through Day 2 Operations. And Simplified Guided Setup to get working cloud services catalog catalog or cloud catalog items there's a lot of catalogs in that sentence uh, i believe csc stands for cloud services catalog um, but that's what i was reading right there and it looks like some instructions there listed in the feature set but let's take a look at the screenshots of what this looks like in the employee center there's some cloud services topics and uh, looks like different catalog items showing up on the employee center. There is the guided setup screenshot of how to set up the application. And there is a written or a requested item in the employee center for a cloud service secure Linux VM with assigned security groups on EC2. Um, and that was that was open. And then this next screenshot is that being completed. So um, let's see the differences there. So if you look down here, um, the request status and stack status, um, and it looks like there's a, a, a stack view you can click on too. But we'll go to the next screen and you can see that change uh, to deploying the stack and deploying it successful. Um, in that second screenshot or third screenshot, here is the, it looks like the stack view. Okay, this is new, this is cool. So there's um, the whole stack and status and the request. And I'm guessing the stack means um, the compute stack here. So you've got the EC2 instance, the network interface, and the storage uh, volume that's associated with that EC2 compute instance. Um, and then back to the catalog. So that is what's new from Cloud Services Catalog. From ServiceNow, next on our list, CSC Content Pack. I think that's going to be related to what you just saw. Out of the box content for the Cloud Services Catalog app. Uh, same features we just read, and it looks like same screenshots. So just a related application. You're probably going to install both of those. Next up, Eviden Elevate Now for SAP. Help clients simplify the digital SAP core, increase innovation velocity, and empower a value add experience, user experience on a unified platform by porting complex innovations from the system of record into the user engagement layer. All right, some key features. We'll read them off here. Functional features. 
built-in process service and technical repository, custom ERP code analysis, unified user experience, cross-process reporting, modern dashboards, low-code guided workflow designer, and ability for users, power users to innovate. On the technical side, ERP customization mining, single data model, single development environment across enterprise apps, standardized workflow engine, pre-built integration spokes, deployable intelligence, including AI, um, artificial intelligence, machine learning, robotic process automation modules, and secured SSO with application. There's no screenshots for this one, so we'll move on to the next one. RSM Clarity Migration. RSM's Clarity Migration officially moves clients off Clarity or Broadcom Clarity and into ServiceNow, aligning project and portfolio functions seamlessly to ServiceNow's existing architecture and support structures, ensuring a single source of work for business and IT. So key features on the functional side, alignment of the SPM PPM function to the org's ServiceNow architecture and support, single source of work for business and IT, technical features, migration services, leverage tool built in Broadcom Clarity to migrate data that is configurable, automated, scalable, and traceable, um, Broadcom Clarity components, configuration objects, result objects um, are what are migrated over, it looks like. No screenshots on this one either. So moving on to the next one, Third Era DevOps Connect. Combine the power of DevOps and AIOps to simplify and enhance application management. Key features on this one, ability to track application changes, performance, development performance, and demands and spend, technical features, DevOps change, DevOps config, event management, and application portfolio management. We've got a single screenshot on here. Looks like one of those ServiceNow slides, but this is from Thirdera. We can see the different DevOps applications on uh, all throughout this slide and how they're interacting with the different applications in ServiceNow. So you've got DevOps change, DevOps config, and service portfolio management, AI ops over here on the right hand side, and all those applications um, interacting. So neat stuff there from Third Dara. Let's go last one on the list for new applications, visual assist, visual remote assistant for ITSM, um, in parentheses, SMS invite, video call, AI, AR, dash VRA. Uh, troubleshoot issues remotely using video, screen share, annotations, AR, and AI. Key features, oh my goodness, we got a bunch here. Um, no app download video call one-on-one -on -one and group video calls, SMS, WhatsApp, email invites, high-res image capture from live video, time-stamped images with accurate GPS locations, image markup and text annotation, pointer feature to point at things on the video call, remote zoom, OCR, screen share from mobile and desktop, call recording, survey and call disposition, bandwidth optimized video, network quality display of participants, network connection quality, integrations with other applications, and much more. Um, sounds like a pretty involved application there. Let's take a look at the screenshots. Um, there is the back of a router switch, it looks like. Um, so someone's troubleshooting. Oh, I got it. So they're troubleshooting and they're have, holding their phone up to the router and someone's showing them, hey, click or, you know, insert something in that reset button. Uh, step one, step two, step three uh, for someone getting assistance. And then there's a video um, showing all that. So that's what's new uh, from the folks at Blitz Inc. And that covers our new releases in the episode, which leaves us with our highlights. Let's see who gets highlighted in this episode of SSH. Let me do, click on that again. Okay. Is it switching over? There we go. All right. Checklist Pro is first on our list. Hey, Ty. How you doing, sir? Uh, Checklist Pro upgraded to version 2.0.19. New features. Personal checklist. Every user, even non-rolled requesters, meaning they don't have a role assigned in ServiceNow, can create, track, and complete any number of private or personal checklist assignments, modular checklist containers, template configs, allowing for construction of reusable blocks of checklist items, expanded hide and read-only function library, allowing for more no-code controls over which checklist items are hidden or read-only, can target a single item or a list of affected checklist items and any descendant items, configurable CSS, no-code delegate support for checklist assignment records, hover text to optionally appear over any checklist item, choice items with customizable value and label. So a big major release there uh, for Checklist Pro and includes some bug fixes around edit conditions, indentation issues, and buttons appearing improperly on checklist assignment records. So that is the new update from Checklist Pro. Let's go next on our list to Guardrails. Guardrails got updated to version 8.1.0. Highlights in this one, new pipeline steps, user and group approval, a new dashboard, plug-in dependency scan, and a lockdown mode. Also, some quality of life changes. I like the way that's worded. Review log named 
uh, is now named Guardrails Alerts. New cancel state for Guardrails Alerts. Removed application menu for deprecated system baseline upgrade simulation. Reordered Guardrails Administration folder. Added compare records action on scan record results. And added step type to related list view for pipeline instance build steps. Uh, and that's what's new from Guardrails. Next up, IBM Cloud Pack for Watson AI Ops. To version 4.1.0, integration of IBM Cloud Pack for Watson AIOps to ServiceNow, remap IBM Cloud Pack for Watson AIOps payload to ServiceNow tables, and fix updates uh, in this particular update to version 4.1.0. Next up, mobile mobility management platform um, got upgraded to version 5.0.102. You can see there I don't have a version history on this one. I have a feeling this maybe left the store for a little bit and has come back, um, but we do have release notes here on the bottom related to Utah certification, creating email templates and autofill merge from case data, including recipients, updates the calculator inputs on the balance sheet, fixes the balance sheet calculator, section 7, other allowances data, and estimated start and end dates of the mobility case, now copy over to cost projection calculator when running a cost projection calculation. All right, next up on our list, TSI Detect got upgraded to version 2.0.6 and new in this one, automatically runs feature selection to identify metrics highly correlated, automatically drop metrics that have more than 30% of missing values, duration and severity anomalies. When retraining, the model uses the latest pre-trained model and now retrains only 20 epochs instead of 50 when training from scratch. Compute before, I haven't said the word epoch in so long. <laughs> I had to stop and honor that. Compute performance metrics, precision recall during batch prediction requests. They changed improved error handling and logging and some fixes. Average metric attributions for anomaly duration for cascade prediction requests. Retraining and retrained model. Ordering of data tables passed as input to the model. Convert classifier results to booleans, booleans and start time of batch prediction results. So that's what's new from ServiceNow for TSI Detect. Up next, vulnerability response integration with Clarity, Xdome, and uh, Med something. Upgraded to version 1.0.02. It's a patch release that refactors all the REST API calls to execute synchronously to improve API response timeout issues which were affecting some customers. It also removes mid-server support which was not needed for this cloud-to-cloud -cloud integration. I hesitated on putting this in the minor updates, but refactoring all of the REST API calls felt like a major uh, major release, not a patch release as it says here, so bringing it to your attention in the highlight section. Last on our list, ZoomIn got updated to version 7.3.0 with mini TOC support, case deflection filtering fields, document preview and case deflection, controlling the order of results in case deflection, and dynamic filters in the library. And that, my friends, concludes our episode of ServiceNow Store Highlights version 0602 2023. Just to recap, we just looked at 29 new or updated applications, then included six new releases, seven highlights, five compatibility updates, four minor updates, three fixes, and three release notes fails. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, or share it with somebody who you think might be interested in what got updated in the ServiceNow store in the past week or so. And until next time, don't forget to always be learning.